Belle is one of my favorite characters of all time. She's strong-willed and confident, sensitive but strong, charming and playful, and she has such this capacity for tenderness and gentleness. Paige O'Hara's performance of Belle is irreplaceable, and there was no way that Emma Watson could have recreated that. There are some certain scenes that the live-action movie altered, and the result is a character that is neither memorable or even very likable. The live-action movie is a weaker and rather thoughtless portrayal of a really wonderful character, and it's unfortunate that they weren't able to recreate that. Now, these differences are subtle and you may not even know them if you're not like me, who has seen the animated movie so many times, so they really stuck out to me. So I just want to go over some of the differences between the animated Belle and the live-action Belle. Emma Watson's performance didn't have the excitement and enthusiasm that Paige O'Hara had, and going from this lively and spirited performance to a very reserved one just didn't go well with the overall story. It's like someone trying to replace the sun with a flashlight. It was an underwhelming and lackluster performance compared to the original movie. There's this scene where Belle asks the Beast to come into the light after he captures her father. And in the animated movie, Belle very curiously and cautiously tells the Beast to come into the light so that she can see him. And he takes a step forward and this small beam of light falls down on him. And it's just this really powerful effect when she's looking up at him in fear and she just turns away in distaste. Now in the live action movie, Belle tells the Beast to come into the light and instead of waiting for him to step forward, she takes a candlestick and shoves it forward towards his face. So she's sort of revealing him herself instead of giving him a chance. This is a subtle difference that you probably, again, wouldn't even notice unless you have the animated movie memorized, but it's an odd change and it makes me wonder exactly what kind of character they were trying to portray Belle as. In the same scene where her father is locked up in a cell and Belle is there to rescue him, in the animated movie, Belle tells the Beast to take her as a prisoner instead and that she'll take her father's place even if it meant staying a prisoner forever. In the live action movie, Belle convinces the Beast to let her into the cell to say goodbye to her father, at which point Belle shoves her father out of the cell so hard that he hits the wall and he slumps to the ground, I swear. She shoves her father harder than the beast shoved her father. And I'm not sure why they made her do this and what kind of personality trait they were going for, but it just comes off as really harsh considering the original scene was so tender. The next scene with another big character difference is where Belle tends to the beast after he's been injured in a fight with wolves when he comes to rescue her in the forest. And this is such an important scene in the story. It's the first time that the two characters have this really raw and emotional exchange and you see Belle's fiery disposition at play. You have two incredibly prideful and strong-willed characters opening up with each other and eventually their anger turns into gentleness. So he yells at her that the bandage hurts and she yells back that it wouldn't hurt so much if you'd hold still. And he sarcastically replies, well, if you hadn't ran away, this wouldn't have happened. And then she yells back that had he not scared her, she wouldn't have ran away. And it's a spirited exchange between these two incredibly stubborn characters. And it's such a cute moment because you see their real interaction with each other for the first time in the movie. And when Belle thanks him for saving her life as she's tending to his wound, it's done so in such a sweet way and you can see how it kind of catches him off guard. But in the live action movie, Belle just doesn't portray that tenderness at all. In fact, they actually make a point of her choosing not to tend to his wounds. And instead she gets up and asks the castle staff why they care what happens to him. They actually show her picking up the cloth looking at his wound and then setting the cloth down and walking away. Again, it's a subtle difference, but it says a lot about what kind of Belle they were trying to go for. Now, there was a really weird scene that they invented for the live action movie and nothing like this is in the animated movie at all and I'm not sure what the point of it was. So in this new movie, Belle was also an inventor in addition to being a bookworm. So she invents this barrel washing machine starts washing her clothes in the public pool, meanwhile teaching this little girl how to read a book while she waits for her clothes to wash. And so male villager shows up and he says that one woman knowing how to read is one too many. And a female villager shows up and she replies, something needs to be done. 
after which they pour Belle's laundry out on the ground. It was just really awkward and didn't really serve any purpose, considering how the villagers already know that Belle reads can, because in the song, she's always got her nose stuck in a book and she's always checking for new books at the bookstore, so they know that she reads. I'm not sure. It, it was just so out of place and it had no benefit to the movie or to the character. Another pivotal scene in the story is the library scene. So in the animated film, this was a big turning point in their relationship. The Beast realizes that he's never felt this way about anyone before, and he wants to do something nice for Belle, something that would be really meaningful to her. So he brings her to the doors of his library, and he asks her to close her eyes and to trust him, and he leads her inside, he draws the curtains, and then he tells her to open her eyes. And it's such a magical moment for Belle because more than anything she likes to read, and the first thing she sees when she opens her eyes is this enormous library, after which he tells her that it's hers. You know that he put thought into it, that he planned this, and it's such a sweet moment because you know that he's doing this because he loves her and he wants to make her happy. In the live action movie, however, the Beast shows Belle his library after they recite Shakespeare while he's recovering from the fight with the wolves. And when she exclaims that she's never seen so many books before, he just shrugs his shoulders apathetically and says that she can have it. There's no thought behind it. There's no affectionate planning. There's nothing special about it. It's just an afterthought. And what a waste of a good scene to take this really sincere and touching moment and then just turn it into this thoughtless exchange. The last thing I want to bring up is the death scene. Now, I cannot watch the death scene in the animated movie without crying. It is so touching and it is so sad. And paired with that score, my little heart never stands a chance. I will cry every single time. The exchange between the Beast and Belle is one of the most heartbreaking scenes I have ever seen. And it is so powerful. The live action movie failed to capture a single moment of that touching scene. It's not even a long scene, but the live action performance is so weak compared to the animated movie and it completely misses that emotion. The animated movie allowed Belle and the Beast to have that moment without any interference. There were no jokes or input from the other characters. It's such a short scene, but it packs such a big punch right to the heartstrings. And the live action movie muddies this scene with chatter from Lumiere and Cogsworth and Mrs. Potts and the other characters. It just sort of flops. The live action movie performances are far underwhelming compared to the animated movie. It's a movie that's pretty to look at, but don't expect the heart and whimsy of the original film. Belle was already strong and confident, and she had that ability to be sensitive and tender, and that's what I love so much about her. She didn't have to be harsh, she didn't have to be severe or physically strong. It's really unfortunate that they tried to break away from that in the live action movie, but really, there's nothing they could have even done to try and improve Belle. She was already perfect to begin with. 